that feels good. I'm surprised at how, feel, how good that feels. Considering where we are. Morning. Oof. Right. Alright, men, let's hop to it. We've got a big day ahead of us. We need to get some food growing. We have seeds back from the ship, right? Are you kidding? Where have they gone? Mm. Fine, I'll just look around myself. Does anyone have any anything in their their tent? No? I know that's not it. Aha! I bet that's what we're looking for. Just one crate? Ugh. This is all we have? Alright. Let's grab these. So we got some seeds. Those are- these are all from some of the places that we stopped at getting here. Those are from home. Those are from home. And that's the last supply of our wheat. Oh boy. That's a- a lot of work that I've got to do. Do I have- where have they gone off to? I swear. Alright. Well, I might as well take that. And where should I start? Probably not here, where it's so close to the water. There, yeah, not with all, all this stuff. It's just too many riblets. It's not going to be good. Um, I don't think going up the hill is going to be the best idea either. Because we're going to need that to build other things. Oh, there, that's another one of those growly things. That's fun. Okay, we're not going that way. Nope. I will deal with whatever that thing was from last night another time. Hmm. Across the river? Let's see. Can I get across again? Um. Hmm. And there are those cows. I bet I should probably catch the cows instead of killing them like I uh, had expected to. This isn't too bad a place to put it start some farms. Why not? How is this ground floating? That's mildly concerning about the stability of this place. <sighs> oh well, let's get, let's get to it. a lot of work but finally all of this easy stuff is done all these animals are native from around the swamp we've got chickens cows and pink sheep i'm not entirely sure how they got here or how they're pink but they are so i, I guess as native who knew um, and then of course we've got wheat that grows basically anywhere, and then the, these reeds, the sugar cane, which are fascinating that they grow so tall so quickly, especially around water. But other than that, we have all of this stuff that I'm still not sure about. These are native, and then I've stored some wheat and some stuff, but then we have things like bamboo and these huge saplings, or these white ones, or these were huge trees that we got, or these spruce and these berries, all of these things. Oh, and these pumpkins, this pumpkin. I need to carve that real quick in order to get the seeds. But all of these things were from places that we traveled to in making our way here. We stopped for the night to collect resources and wood and food. There's a surprising amount of other islands around there but that's all they were was islands on the ocean and I don't know that these are gonna grow but I've cleared a space for them and all I can do is hope and maybe we'll get some other type of exotic resources all right 
all these plants are acquired, let's go plant these and hope that they grow. They're, I know that these trees are pretty tall, and so I'll put them all the way over here. And then these ones are wide. These are, I know these were conifers, as I was told. And then these ones, these were huge. Um, like I know those were tall, those were big, and these were like a combination of the two. So I guess I'll put those far away over there. This is just a normal tree. It was very nice to see an old tree. It had such white, papery bark, though. It was very interesting. Um, and then this bamboo. We do have bamboo in Rika, and so it was very interesting to see it all the way out here. And it grows quickly, so I think that I can plant it in a couple places, and we will have some bamboo for scaffolding and other important things. See, look, oh, it's already going. That's actually a little scary. You definitely don't want that getting infested in places. And then we have these seeds that I got from some melons, and then I carved the pumpkin over there. And I guess we gotta plant these like we did the the the, the wheat, and see what comes out of it. I also probably need water. The seeds always do need water. I right, ow. I can't believe that's how I got wet. This is ridiculous. Okay, let's do that. One, two, three, and four. And then plant these other seeds elsewhere where they should still get water. And hopefully they won't accidentally grow into each other or something like that. I know that that was a common thing back home and then these berries that we found I hope that these will go correctly I honestly don't know one two three four five six and seven all right everything's planted the bamboo is growing nicely hopefully we'll get some some resources out of this I honestly don't know and hey at least the wheat's growing well we can make bread and the cows are over there we can make steak sandwiches for the, re the rest of eternity oh who am i kidding we need more food it was strongly advised to me by my superiors to keep some sort of journal a uh, record, they called it. But I'm sure they're trying to make me write my own confession should I turn traitor. Some experienced explorers suggested on a more personal basis to help get things off my chest. It's silly, in my opinion, but since I was basically all but ordered to do this, here I am. We successfully reached the shore of the New World and set up camp by nightfall. Today, the men and I prepared some soil to plant. We have wheat and potato seeds that should have survived, as well as some more exotic plants we found on our way. If the saplings survived, we'll be able to harvest them for trading. Tomorrow, we'll set out to explore this area more. Maybe we'll even find some other inhabitants of this world. If not, at least familiarizing ourselves with our immediate surroundings will be beneficial enough. Until tomorrow, Governor Rebecca Bridger. Thank you.